Hey everybody, this is a tip on how to do extrusions, or something similar to extrusions, in a direction in which uh, SketchUp really doesn't want you to do it. So let's say we, we draw a profile of a roof. Let's make that 10 inches. And we will draw a line down parallel to that. And let's just put it there. Then we'll go up 10 inches, erase that, draw another line ourselves a profile. Now we take that and we use the push-pull tool to pull it across to our other side and it's nice because it's got these vertical edges and we can do things with that such as let's say we go to find the middle of this. Always easier said than done. There it is. Hit the option key make ourselves a second copy. Okay, so that's the sort of thing you want to be able to do. But let's say we now discover, oops, we would like to have some overhang to this roof. So what do we do? We, we go into the push-pull tool and we pull it. But that's not doing what we want. We don't want it going straight out like that. But that's what the push-pull pull tool wants to do. It always wants to go parallel to the face that you're, um, or in the direction normal to the face that you're pulling on. We would like that to keep going in the direction of the roof. So what we can do is not use the push-pull tool, but use the move tool and move those four edges and the face. So we hit M for move. Now how do we get it to go straight along this line? Well, I, I haven't clicked anything yet. I haven't touched the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, hit the shift key, lock in on the edge, come down and click. While holding the shift key, I don't let go. I keep going and I extend it as far as I need. And we continue with our vertical edge. And we get what we want. Okay, let's do that just one more time, just for clarity's sake, so it's really clear what I was doing. First thing I do is I select those four edges, and then I go into the Move tool. I come up here, I put my, I locate the On Edge tooltip, and I hold the Shift key down. That locks me in on that edge. I come down here, I can get off the edge, but you see it'll stay on that edge now. I come down here and I click on this endpoint, and now I'm locked in on that edge. It doesn't matter what I do with the cursor. It's going to go in line with that edge. And when I'm done, I, can, I maintain my vertical face here. 